Here's what wine looks like cleared with Kisasol and Cheetosan after only three days. Now the best time for adding these two fining agents is after secondary fermentation is finished, your wine is back sweetened, and your wine is also stabilized. So this is one of the last things that you do. Now I just follow the wine kit's instructions on this and you can do whatever you like. But that being said, there's a reason why they choose to put the stuff in at a certain time. And if you look at the instructions on some of the Kisasol and Cheetosan kits, they'll tell you kind of the same thing. Between 1 and 24 hours after adding the Kisasol, you'll add the Cheetosan. So the way that I like to do it is put the Kisasol in, stir it up, make sure it's dissolved in part of the solution, and just leave it alone for that day. So the next day we're just going to take our Cheetosan and we're going to, uh, what I like to do here is spin up the liquid, get it rotating pretty fast, and then just pour the Cheetosan right into the carboy. You can see a dramatic change of what's happening here. Look at how cloudy it gets towards the top of the carboy and you can see it's slowly getting lower. So as soon as I've got all the Cheetosan in that carboy, I'm going to give it a good stir and then leave it alone again. Here's what it looks like after five minutes. Then there's 30 minutes later. And this is a few hours later. Now look at the next day already, how much clearing has actually happened and settled. So you can just leave it alone like this until you have a nice thick sediment like you see on the side of the carboy. And what you do to get that down to the bottom of your carboy, you do want it there so that when we re-rack this solution, we're not getting any of that stuff falling down and get siphoned back into the new carboy. It's super easy. Just give the carboy a quick twist. This is going to help all that stuff that's bound to the side of the glass fall down into the sediment that's on the bottom of the carboy. Now when we re-rack, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff going into the next carboy. Now how this stuff works is that the Kisasol and the Cheetosan are positively and negatively charged. They bind to the positively and negatively charged, their opposite ions inside the wine, and they just weigh them down essentially. So that's what's going on here. Now Kisasol and Cheetosan can also be used with uh, bentonite to help clear your wine and it can also be used with uh, pectylase or a pectic enzyme to clear out pectacase. If you want to know more about how to use all three of those things in tandem, the video on the side will help explain that more.